Hi everyone, welcome to Psych U. Today we have a very good friend of Psych U in the studio. We have Luis Guerrero, who is from El Mundo and also from NTN24 on television, who is a Spanish language science communicator. And as you, as our audience will know, I am Australian, so I'm a foreigner, not looked upon kindly by the current administration. You, Luis, are not only a foreigner, but you're also primary means of communicating science is Spanish. I am afraid so, yeah. How has the mood shifted with the with the new president and how is it to be a science communicator in Spanish? I think it's shifting right now. We're not exactly sure. We're not feeling it right now. It's just a sort of a premonition that something's coming. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I can do my thing like I used to. Um, what worries me a little bit is that presumably there's going to be less of an interest from the uh, official quarters in Spanish language whatever mm -hmm. in the States. But on the other hand, I was Mexicans thinking... Mexicans speak Spanish, sorry. I know. <laughs> but then on the other hand, I'm thinking there's actually a, sort of a backlash of a lot of people feeling really... Uh, they want to help, they want to do things. So we might see that actually we have more money opportunities and chances to do a com science communication both in English and Spanish, which I think is essential. Yeah, so well, we're definitely seeing the scientific community come together with the, oh, yeah. the Science March and the Science Rally, which is coming up at the AAAS conference. Absolutely. And then we're also seeing this new investment in culture, so it's possible that you might have more resources than ever before. Yeah, we're going to be unofficially flushed with resources to do things, which is awesome. So you communicate, you talk about science, yeah. and you talk about science in Spanish, Right. and you're from... Spain. From Spain, originally. Yeah. So no, no Latino, Hispanic. Do many people confuse you with being a Mexican? Um, I don't know. I, I don't ask. You know, I don't <laughs> ask. I just, I, I, I'm still working on my accent. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm mean, just, you know, from there probably. I'm from, I'm from the south. Yeah. Has anything changed for you since the new president has come in? For you personally? Uh, as a journalist, mm -hmm. for me, it's yeah. hectic right now because every day there's like three 24-hour shift news uh, in a day. It, it's crazy. So activity is uh, off the charts, and we are scrambling. So yeah. we, we, we don't really know. And with regard to science and science communication, like we don't know what's going to happen to the budget of the NIH, to uh, visas for researchers, visas be for, yeah, Latinos artists. or elsewhere. Yeah. So I don't know, a lot of things shifting, moving, and we still don't have any, any security, I guess. Yeah. It's, I know here at PsyQ it's been crazy because there's never before been so much news around science and politics. Right. Every time in the Obama administration it was pretty much business as usual. Right. And now suddenly science is a, a, a threat that it's never faced before. You, you wished for it and now? Now it is. <laughs> what are you looking forward to in this year? Any good news? Uh, oh, certainly. A lot of amazing research published, hopefully peer reviewed, uh, journals. Uh, I do believe that the Paris Agreement it, it's not gonna it's not gonna be uh, deterred mm -hmm. at any at any phase, um, and and I don't know a, a few interesting surprises. Uh, we just had an Ebola vaccine fast track and approved, and we might have another one for Zika soon enough. So those two, I would settle for those two. Yeah, things we didn't get under Obama, Obama are not gonna do. For instance, and what is the craziest thing that you've heard Donald Trump say in relation to science? Craziest? Craziest. I don't to know. pick. Uh, 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 what worries me the most, mm -hmm. honestly, it, it's not exactly science, it's his disregard for a, a sense of that there's something objective that we can all aspire to. That because that affects science, journalism, I mean, you name it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for the invite. Thanks for coming to Thank you. Thank you.